Hey everybody, my name is Kim and in this video we are going to be looking at the new line tool modes that have been added in Storyboard Pro 20. I'm going to be using this image as an example. We're going to just trace parts of it while using the line tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a new vector layer and turn on my light table so that I can see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to select the line tool from my toolbar and go to the tool properties and scroll all the way to the bottom and you will see three buttons on the bottom right that have been added. The first one is your normal straight line tool, the second is your curve line mode and the third is your S curve line mode. The straight line mode does exactly what you think it would do. It just draws a straight line and that's it. In the past you were able to use the straight line to create a curve by clicking and holding the line and then holding down control and creating a curved line but now you have a button to help you do this which is a little bit more convenient so if we click on the curved line mode button and we choose a nice area to use it in like the arch of this root over here on the tree we can click and hold and let go and the minute that you let go of the line you'll see that you'll be able to pull it in a direction to create a curve. Click one more time to set the curve and it's done. So the S curve works in a similar way. The only difference is that now you're creating two curves. The important thing to remember about this line mode is that the first curve you create will be closer to the starting point of the line and the second curve will be closer to the end point. So I'm just going to click and hold and draw my line, create my first curve, which will be the curve closer to the starting point of the line, click, and then the second part of the curve, which is closer to the end point of my line. Click again, and you have set the S curve on your line. And those are the new line curve modes in Storyboard Pro 20.